Well, here's a live look at Doppler Max radar across the southeast. You can see this rain stretches all the way from Dallas all the way to North Carolina. So we got a good stretch of wet conditions across the region heading our way this evening into tonight and not really completely drying out until we get to around uh, 7 to 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. So this is really just getting started for us. We've seen some light drizzle, some sprinkles across the region today, but a little bit steadier rainfall in the forecast as we get into later tonight. Here's a closer look at home. You can see just a few of these uh, kind of scattered showers across the River region, much more widespread rain uh, west of us. That's what's going to be building in as we get towards uh, later this evening, especially the overnight hours. Temperature wise, we're currently in the 40s, going to stay in the 40s all uh, all tonight and into the first part of our Friday. This is a jump ahead to around 6, 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. You can see this rain is still with us for mainly areas along and south of I-20, but this will quickly drop towards the south and east. And most of the day tomorrow should be completely dry. We'll actually get back some sunshine tomorrow afternoon, but we are going to see much cooler temps. Highs only in the 50s tomorrow afternoon and then getting down below freezing early Saturday. I would imagine a lot of us are waking up in the 20s for the first part of the weekend and then later into our Saturday afternoon. Likely going to see those high temps anywhere from the upper 40s to low 50s, so about 10 degrees below average for this time of year. We are going to stay sunny Saturday, but more clouds will start to move in on Sunday. We look mostly dry Sunday, but cannot rule out there are a few isolated showers closer towards that I-95 corridor as we head late into the weekend. As far as rain totals go for tonight, early tomorrow morning, close to an inch in a few spots. I would imagine at least a half inch for most of us here around Augusta, Aiken, and especially anywhere up towards the lake. So this is definitely a good rain event, but luckily not enough to really cause a lot of major flooding issues for us. They have extended the flood warnings though along the Savannah River, especially south of Augusta and the Ogeechee River as well. So those will stay in effect through this weekend. It could even be extended a little bit more than that. Here's a live look over Grovetown. You can see some wet roadways. The headlights are on and definitely stay safe on the roads for this evening and to tonight. Right now we're at 50 degrees. We're just going to kind of hover near that number the next couple of hours, but eventually we're going to see these low temps drop into the 40s as we head into early tomorrow morning. Now for the next several days, our temps will be below average, but looking past the weekend forecast heading into next week, we're back above average Monday all the way through next Thursday and could even see the 70s again by next Wednesday. We're ready to see the sunshine too, Riley. Thank you. The family of the 11 year old attacked